Hi, Pippers. Hi. Well, what is this video going to be about this time? I'm going to talk a little bit more about installing a ceiling fan. Here we got a ceiling fan up here. I don't have to install a ceiling fan down here, but Momi, I've talked to her, and she wants to have me install two ceiling fans down here. One in this room here, and one in this bedroom here. And of course, there's no light fixture up in the middle. There's no light switch here for anything up, up above. This is just for the ones by the bed. See, you would have thought they would have at least put something up there and come to think about it, had they have put something up there, see, see this bedroom here, nothing up there. There's a, there's a switch over here and that does not control anything but other than a, the bottom of a plug on the wall. Okay, that's all they decided to do. It doesn't, it doesn't even control this one over here. It just controls that over there. And, and, and that's all they decided on. And, you know, I could, I actually, I, I don't know. I might actually be wrong. That could control. See, there's, a, there's an outlet over here. And then there's an outlet I just saw over here. And I'm not going to get my... Uh, my tester out or anything. And then there's and then there's switch over here. And I know <laughs> I was messing around. We've, we've been in this house for about a year and a half now. And I was like, why do they have two light switches close together? And it's a three-way switch on both of those. This can turn on uh, the, the bottom of a plug and that one can turn it off or vice versa. And I'll bet you there's a plug there and there's a plug there that are controlled on the bottom sections of that and they were planning on having the bed about where they have this thing here. Okay, so as you walk in, you, you, can, turn, you can turn the switches on either, either direction. But speaking of the ceiling fans, what would have happened if there was an actual light fixture up there? Could I have actually used that light fixture box for a ceiling fan? Well, sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. If it, if it was a plastic box just nailed to the side of a joist, a floor joist, let's say, um, I would be hard pressed to, to think, do you really want to hang a 50 pound, 45 pound ceiling fan off of a plastic box that's only, that's only nailed on the side of a, of a floor joist? And I'm calling that a floor joist because there's no, there's, there's a floor above there, okay? There's no attic above there. And I'm going to have a heck of a time figuring out how to get, how to get the ceiling fan up there. But if you have a light fixture in, in your rooms, look at that box first. And if you, have, if you have an attic above it and if it's just a plastic box, you might want to take that plastic box down, get up, on the, up in the attic and install uh, an, an additional block or something and install a metal uh, pre-fabricated metal box that you can get at the store that accepts an actual ceiling fan. They're a little bit different than a regular box. They have full threads uh, where the screws go up, where the mounting screws go up for a ceiling fan that go up into this box. I'll show you that another time when I, when I get ready to install the ceiling fans. But, you know, how, how am, am I going to get up there? There's no attic up there. If there was an attic, I could crawl up there and fish that uh, box in, put, uh, put a block in between the, the joists up there, the ceiling joists and all that kind of stuff, fish a wire down here and do all that kind of stuff and, and fish it up uh, and drill some holes up there in the attic and fish a wire down there, cut that out and all that kind of stuff. I can't really do that on this particular project like I can in Mother's Room. If you saw that video, I went in detail how I'm going to install that and that's upstairs and I'm going to be able to do it without making any holes in the walls or the ceiling because I can get up in the attic, okay? But down here, there is no attic. So unfortunately for me, I'm going to have to make some holes in the wall. But right here, I don't have to make any holes. I can take this light switch out. I can take this uh, single gang 
plastic box that's inside the wall that's nailed to the stud. I can take that out. I can also cut a hole here, put a two gang box in here without making any mess on the wall. Did you know that? Yeah. I'll show you all that on, on a different video. Okay. And then I can drill a hole and fish a wire up only so far. I'm going to have to get up there and cut a hole, a square hole about maybe two inches, two two inches or so below the ceiling. That way I don't have to tape and to tape and re-skim all the way up on an inside on a new inside corner up there. If I cut the hole about two inches down and then make a square in between the the, the uh, uh, studs, the wall studs, then I can patch that later and it's easier to, to fix all that without having to do an inside corner there on your sheetrock mud. Okay? So I have to cut a a, a, a square hole up there and then I'm gonna have to cut another square hole up in the ceiling above that so I can f drill holes and fish the wire up through there same thing the one on the on the ceiling about two inches away this way up on the ceiling coming up this way that way I don't have to worry about doing an inside patch and then from there who knows what I'm gonna have to do because the the ceiling uh, Fan. It's going to be out in the middle, and I'm not sure which way these floor joists go. They could go this direction, boom, 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 or they could go this direction. And I think they're TJI uh, ceiling or floor joists for the floor up, ab up above. And from here, I can't just go at an angle. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. If, if the ceiling joists are going this direction, I may have to cut the ceiling there and then go across and then and then go over cut another hole over there go across and uh, then I might have to cut another hole where the ceiling fan actually is going to be located so I can put some blocks up there uh, for the new ceiling fan junction box or if the joists are going about in the center of where the bed is or the center of this room depending where we're going to do it uh, or if it's just slightly off one way or another, I might be able to cut a hole and put a pancake box up in there for, for the ceiling fan and situate it so that a little bit of the pancake box is just off of where the, where the uh, TJI floor joist is so I, can, so I can screw it and mount it to the bottom of the TJI without putting a block there. That way I can minimize one extra hole that I'm going to have to patch. You see what I'm saying? And then I'll have to fish the wire. I fish the wire from the from the ceiling or from the uh, wall switch here because I know there's there's power. There's generally power here, but I don't know. They might have they might have ran their their main power from there. But usually they'll put their 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 main power line to a light switch next to the door, and then they'll go from there over to wherever they're going. So my guess is the power goes from there, and then another wire goes from there. Uh, up and over to there and then down to the electrical outlets. That's probably what's going on there. And so there's probably, I'm hoping there's power right here. Okay. And so then I'll fish a wire from there up the wall, up into my, my holes that I have to cut, come over to the ceiling fan. Then I've got to patch all of the, the sheetrock back. Then I have to tape top skim uh, the walls and there's there's little texture on here. See the, see the texture on here? I mean, it's kind of hard to see because it's getting dark. You see the texture? I'm going to have to texture the wall, you know, up here. And I'm going to have to texture uh, where the holes are in there. And, and I've got to try to match this. And, and the thing was, these walls haven't been uh, painted that long ago, but because it was paint that was installed right before we moved in, I've got all of the matching paint. So I have the, the paint, the exact color of the wall and the exact color for the ceiling. So at least I've got that, right? And then for the texture, I can get spray texture out of a can at the hardware store. I don't have to get a hopper or anything like that and, and blow it up there and do all that. I can do it out of a can and then I can mimic the same thing that's on the wall, they have a, a little thing, you can twist it and then it comes out finer or heavier, splatter, whatever. And so I'm going to have to do all that. That's going to be a job in itself, right? All of that. That's why, 
That's why I'm waiting. I'm waiting to do this one later. Uh, I want to install the ceiling fan. Got the same type of situation upstairs in mother's room, but I, because I have an attic, I won't have to cut or patch anything on the ceiling as well as the wall. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And of course, when I get ready to install the new ceiling fan and the new switch and all the other stuff in the other room on reinstalling this existing one over in Mother's room, I'll be sure to make a video for you for all of the different things that I'm going to do. Of course, it's not gonna be in one video. It's gonna be in all kinds of different videos, but I'll put them all together so that you can see from start to finish that you too can save money around the house.